Hello and welcome to today's Python tutorial for beginners. Today we are going to talk about the random module in Python. Random module generates a pseudo random number. And pseudo random means not truly random because it starts from an initial value which is called a pseudo random number generator seed and then based on that it generates some other numbers. So it's not truly random but it serves lots of purposes anyways. So let's start by importing random module. First we need that. I've also imported math module because I just need to round some numbers up or down. And then I have a list, animals. Now, I'm not going to work with the, this list yet, but I will later. So let's generate a random number. To do that, let's say we have a variable x and we say random dot random. This is a method. So this is the way we use it. So we have the random as in random and then the method inside this module random. Now, what number do you think it generates for us if I print out x? So let's see. Wow, we got something like this decimal. So it generates basically a number, a float, floating number actually, it's float, so it's, uh, yeah, with decimals, it's a number between zero and up to, but not including one. It might not be that useful, this number, for lots of purposes. So what we can do with it is maybe I want only these two digits. So I want something like 0.10. How do I do that? For that, I need to round it. So I would say round. I need to round this random number that we get, but to two decimals. Now, if I print X, we get another random number. Now, 59. Another one, 96. So we can use a round function and give it this argument two, so it means I need only two digits after this point. We can also do something like, um, let me go back and say random dot random. <coughs> if I want something, a number between zero and 10, for example, I can multiply it by 10, then I would get a float again with all those decimal stuff. But this time from, you see, 0 up to, not including, 10. I can remove, get rid of all these and turn it into an int integer. So I can say int. And now I will have an integer, 9. Write again, 1. No decimals, 6. But still remember, we have zero up to, but not including 10. How can we fix that? So we can say, because we've uh, imported math, so we can say math.floor, and what floor does, takes whatever this random number is, which was some decimal number, let's say uh, eight point, because it's multiplied by 10, so we have eight point, 9, 8.10, whatever, 8.7, it will bring it down. For example, if there is 8.7, it brings it to the floor and turns it into 8. 8.4 would be 8. 8.9 would be 8 again. Then we'll add 1 to it. Because remember, we have something like 9.8, which will turn into 9, but it will never be 10. That's why we need to add 1 to it now we have something from 1 to 10 including 10 now let's see we have 2 5 so if we continue like lots of times we may come across uh, a 10 as well but this is too complicated you know like multiplying adding flooring and that sort of stuff why do we even bother with this so we have a much easier way to do that. 
and that is by using randint so by randint we can do something like x equals random dot rand int it means a random integer so we don't need to go through this process of multiplying and, and flooring and that sort of stuff and we can give it a range let's say from 1 to 10 now if I print X what happens is that I get a number from 1 to 10 but this time including 10 this is a a uh, good way to use it so from 1 to 10 it means up to and including 10 so if I try I will say I will see 1 and then 8 and whatever so this is how we use rand int for integers now there is also another method we can use and it's called rand range the same as rand int well, to some extent so let's say random dot rand range and we give it a range again let's say between 1 and 10 if I print that again we see this number 3 3 3 1 but what is the difference between rand uh, rand range and rand int then so rand int use the uh, ra generated random number between 1 that is including 1 up to and including 10 but rand range generates a number between 1 and up to but not including 10 that's one difference another difference is that this also gives us some advantage now so there is another argument we can give it called step so this is start this is stop it stops at this point and this is a step it means that it starts from 1 and it generates a number which is like uh, two items after one that's so it's one between 1 3 5 7 9 that is up to 10 so it generates an odd number now for us up to 10 so if I just print this you see 3 then I have 3 again and then I have 1, 5, so all odd numbers from 1 to 10. And if I start, let's say, from 2 to 10, or 2 to, let's say, 11, it means it will, so step, that is, it, it would take two steps, so it would go from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and choose something between them see now we have 10 and we have 2 so all even numbers so this is something to keep in mind well why did I do that <laughs> yeah okay now let's come this out go back and to choice now we are going to use our list so choice if you want to you have a list like this animals and you want to randomly choose one item out of this list maybe it's like a lottery kind of thing you have a lot of names inside a list and you want to choose one name randomly how would you do that so we have this animals list let's go down so the way we would do it is we say random dot choice Let's say e x equals x equals um, equals random dot choice and we give it the name of the list now if i print x i would get cat let's print again now again i get bird again bird so it will go through the list of animals that our list which is animals and choose choice choose one item randomly and then we assigned it to x variable which is printed here so this is choosing an item a random item inside a list we also have choices so choices just like the other one let's say x equals random dot choices 
and then here we give it like animals now when I print this you will see the difference so here that is for choice we had bird as a string just the item itself but with choices I don't get this I get it in a list so I get a new list if I run this you will see now I have cat inside the list so it generates a new list but what's the point if there is only one maybe I can tell it to give me like uh, three random choices or two random choices out of this we can do that so we can say random choices animals and k equals two so uh, yeah k equals two now I have two items here so it goes through this list that is choices that's why we can take more items and we say k equals two it means give us two items out of this list another thing is that so this is the size actually of the list how about if I go like give me eight and we know that in our list we have only four items what happens now let's see look at that now we have a list let me actually print something uh, on top of this just so that we have some space uh, let's print two things yeah okay now look we have now eight items all generated randomly from this list of four items so we have rat dog rat rat cat rat bird rat what if you want to also have a list like that but maybe with more dog in it than a rat that is when we use the word weights and we should give weights to each item so look we have dog one two three four items so we need to have four weights let's say I want to have more dogs here than rats so I give dog more weight so I can say here I want dog to have this kind of weight and then the rest just one so it means dog for me now has more weight than others but remember we should have the same number of uh, items here than you have in the original list now if I print this out there is something totally wrong let's say um, one two three four. oh yeah we have one two three four okay no that's nothing here um, let me see oh we don't have a comma here yeah okay so yeah you see now we have more dogs that's a lot of dogs here and then two more so this is the way you generate some list if you want to have more instances of a certain let's say uh, item you just give it more weights here I think it's nice for cheating uh, <laughs> it's just in a lottery okay so that that was it for this one now let's comment this out and let's go to sample which is close to this choices so sample is actually also very close to choices in that you can have random dot sample and let's say animals and you can say how many items of animals do you want so let's say two it means generate oops x equals so here now let's say we want it to take two samples two random samples out of our list of animals and it puts it into a new list so bird and cat or three or whatever now what if I say that hey I want the same number of items that there are in animals that is length of animals whatever length not there here um, nope 
Oops. No. Okay, Len Animals. Now, let's see. So, length of animals, which is four actually. I could also use four, but yeah. Now we have bird, dog, rat, cat. Now let's take a look at the original uh, list. We have dog, cat, bird, rat. You see the order has changed. So we can also produce the same list. Well, a copy of the list, let's say, but with different orders, with random orders. This, we, this way we can also do that. So that was also for sample. Now let's get to shuffle. So shuffle, as the name suggests, of course, it just shuffles the the list and it doesn't generate any new list. So I can simply say random dot shuffle and shuffle animals for me. And then here I just uh, print out animals and then you have this shuffled bird, dog, rat, cat. So this is, you can see here it starts with dog, here it starts with bird. So this is a random shuffling of, of the, the list. Now the last one is uniform. So I should have actually uh, used uniform here with other numbers. So uniform, um, don't do that. Yeah. So let's comment this out. Now uniform generates a random floating number between, yeah, in a range. So I can say that x equals random dot um, uniform. And I give it two numbers like five and 10. Now if I print x, you can see that we have a random number between 5 and 10 by the random uh, float, actually, a floating number. So it has lots of these decimals. Now I can also limit the number of digits by, you just saw how it works, you so can say round, and then give it another argument, like up to two digits. And then if I print that, you see, I have only two digits here, like so. So yeah, these are the most common uh, random methods from random module in Python. So generating a random number, then you give it a range, a random choice from a list, some other choices from a list, random sample in the list, shuffle a list, and a random floating number in a range. Thank you for watching and listening.